I was diagnosed with prostate cancer in January 2006. I was 58 years old at the time. Prior to December 2005, I'd been well with no obvious signs of prostate cancer. My reaction, like Ian's, was one of shock initially, quite devastated. But then we both quickly realised that we needed to work through the process, gather information and build knowledge of the treatment options. I felt that was important for me to keep busy, keep active, but to maintain as normal life as possible. I feel um, very positive uh, about the treatment. I mean, in my case, it has been a dramatic uh, result. Uh, the treatment has certainly helped keep my cancer at bay and uh, it would probably be managed now more as a chronic uh, condition than an active case of prostate cancer. I felt that I was living as normal a life as I could probably live uh, as a man of my age um, and with the condition that I had. Um, so I was very pleased about that, um, that I didn't have any serious side effects. I also encouraged Ian to continue his hobbies, um, gardening, uh, cycling on a weekly basis. It's given me uh, a lot of hope uh, and improved confidence, I guess, in the treatment. And I think also for our family, we have two sons and one grandson. They are obviously at higher risk of prostate cancer. And so I think the fact that Ian's treatment outcome through the trial now has been a very good one, has given them confidence uh, in the whole gamut of treatment options. I'm very pleased with the outcome that's allowed me to continue with my life, to be with my family, to uh, enjoy my two grandchildren, uh, to be with my sons and, as Judy said, to give them hope for their futures.